fog is so she is so I just want to keep it all. I want to keep it all. I just want to keep it all. I want to keep it all. I just want to keep it all I just want to keep it all I want to keep it all My name is Juliana Palencia and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, you may be like, her hair is so long. But if you've been following me for a while, you guys know that I had really long curly hair. And um, I'll leave a link to my natural hair journey video up in the description box. I've been natural since 2009. I've had um, literally cut my hair super short. Um, like where it didn't even touch my shoulder straight and I've grown it all the way to hip length and for the past few years I've been keeping my hair at waist length and I decided that I wanted to grow my hair even longer um, I wanted to grow my hair back to hip length and so I decided to get my hair shaped and trimmed mention I don't say cut shaped and trimmed so I'm going to be telling you guys about this story and as you saw from the previous clip, my hair is so uneven. This is how long my hair is. It doesn't even touch my boob. The shortest layer comes here. But then I have layers on the side that come all the way down here. And if I don't adjust my hair, I have to literally pick it all the time. I, my hair is so uneven. I'm going to explain to you guys how exactly it's cut so you can visualize it. My hair is cut as if it's an extremely angled bob. If it were to be straight, it would come like here in the back and then in the front it swoops down all the way right here. That's short in the back, but the hairstylist cut a little bit too much in the back. So it's as if that this bottom part of my hair is the shortest layer as if it is had been shaved. You know how some people shave that back part of their hair? That's how my hair is cut, as if it's been shaved because it's shorter than any other part of my hair. And that part used to be very, very long. I literally have not made YouTube videos for probably almost a month now because this haircut really really got to me and I if you guys any of you personally know me you know that my hair is not that important to me um I don't talk about like I have a YouTube channel about natural hair and beauty but my hair isn't really that important to me so I've been kind of having a lot of dissonance. I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what happened. But for this past month, I've been having a lot of dissonance because my hair isn't that important to me, yet I've been so upset about it. And I haven't been able to make YouTube videos. And I realized like my hair has been something that I worked really hard on. Guys, imagine any goal that you have. It doesn't have to be something crazy, but whether it was to get a car, to get a 4.0, to get in Dean on the Dean's list, to get in college, to get a new home. Imagine having that goal and you achieving it people asking you about it so you make a YouTube channel about it you literally only make a YouTube channel so you can help other people achieve that goal as well you get like hundred thousand followers and now that goal has been taken away from you 
and your YouTube channel is all about achieving that goal. That's kind of why I've been so upset about it as well as I I have a lot of anger in me and I filmed this whole video like a week or a few days after I got my hair cut and I couldn't even upload it. I, it was so angry. I feel like I only want to put out positive energy and I haven't been having that lately because I've had a lot of anger and regret because of this haircut. So I'm just going to tell you guys what exactly happened. I have an Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is Jujube as well as my Snapchat. Um, and this hairstylist reached out to me saying, I want to cut your hair. And so I looked at his page and he had a really good, you know, curly hair portfolio, really professional. Um, he seemed like he was very professional. So this is maybe a few months ago. So some time passed. I don't give him much thought. I follow the hairstylist just to keep up with him. He, um, I like watching his hair videos and hair pictures. So he reaches out to me again like, hey, you know, I really want to cut your hair. We can do a video and we can like, you know, do pictures, like all that stuff, like a collaboration. Why not? Like I have my platform, you know, you cut great hair. We're supposed to get my hair cut sometime in like January, early January. But I had to fold locks in my hair. So I was like, oh, sorry, you know, I can't make it. So... I get the faux locks out, I'm going to LA and um, I'm taking a trip to LA and he reaches back out to me like, hey, he DMs me, hey, you owe me your haircut. And I'm like, oh yeah, so um, how about we plan for after I get back from LA? And so we make that a plan. And on top of it, I got invited to a dark and lovely event in New York and I'm like, I've never been invited to a natural hair event like that before. So I was really excited. So I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone? Um, this event is in New York and this hairstylist is based in Long Island. I can get my hair cut and go to the event and I'll have a reason for spending that gas money. So I drive to his hair salon in Long Island to get my hair cut and I'm waiting and I see him cutting someone else's hair and she came in her hair was fairly long it was curly fairly long and I see him cutting her hair and her hair is really short afterwards so I'm kind of like looking but I'm not too worried because she actually had her hair was beautiful but she had a lot of heat damage so in my head I'm figuring he I'm figuring he's just cutting off her heat damage. So my plan going into the hair salon was to wear my hair as curly as possible because this hairstylist does like a diva cut. He's supposed to specialize in cutting curly hair. And so I wear my hair as curly as possible thinking that if I wear it as tight as it is, he won't cut too much off. Like if I wear it really stretched out, he might end up cutting too much off because he thinks that it's longer than what it is and then when it's curly, it'll shrink up. That's my idea. I'm thinking that he knows exactly what he's doing with curly hair. I'm gonna wear it as curly as possible so that I can get the best effect. Not thinking that things might go wrong. Literally, I did not think that anything would go wrong. I actually was joking with one of my friends before getting my hair cut. I was like, yeah, I'm getting my hair cut. And he was like, oh, you are? And I was like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just getting trimmed. It's going to be shaped a little differently. Little did I know I was getting a legit, legit haircut, like nine inches taken off my hair. So I go to get in the chair and, you know, we're talking. Um, we have a consultation about exactly what I want and I tell him, you know, I want my hair to stay long. Um, my hair has some uneven pieces, nothing drastic. I just want it to look more even at the bottom because I had some stringy pieces that were kind of like this, like that just hung a little lower than the rest. And that was my idea of uneven. I never once said I wanted my hair cut. I never once said I wanted my hair short. I never once said I wanted a big chop. I feel like the only time a hairstylist should cut four or more inches off your hair is if your hair if you say you want your hair cut if you say you want a big chop chop or if you say you know i want a hair makeover i want something drastic a hairstylist should never cut nine inches off of your hair but because you say you want it more even or that you want your hair trimmed that in my opinion was just like i can't believe that that even happened 
So we're having our consultation and I'm telling him, you know, exactly what I want. He seems to be understanding it and he's like, yeah, you know, I've been cutting hair for like a long time and I've been cutting a lot of curly hair. You know, I'm going to make your hair look even better than what it is. You already have great hair, but a lot of YouTubers have, you know, great hair, but not really great cuts. So I'm going to make you have both a great hair and a great cut. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm telling him about my hair and I'm like, yeah, um, the front is the loosest, the back, this back portion is the tightest, the sides are the loosest and the longest of my hair and the back is the shortest. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah. He's not dismissing me, dismissing me, but he's like, yeah, you know, um, I cut curly hair, like I, I can kind of see that. So then I'm like telling him all this. And he's like, hey, listen, I'm a curly hair stylist my I care about my reputation so I'm going to give you the best curly haircut you know this is you know both of our reputations out there I'm not going to do anything to like uh threaten that so I'm really confident I'm like this guy knows that I have a hundred thousand plus k youtubers I'm YouTuber, subscribers on youtubers like he wants to make himself look good so I'm getting my haircut and I decide to tape it all of this is actually taped i'm not gonna pit this hairstylist out there because that's not the type of energy i want to give off and i don't want to ruin someone's career like i like i said i looked at this hairstylist page and he had a great portfolio he's had he's done awesome work but he did not do awesome work on my hair whatsoever that's to me that's not debatable whether it was good or not it's not good and so I'm not trying to dismiss him because he has done good work, but he personally didn't do good work on me. He's cutting my hair and I'm facing the cameras this way and I'm facing the back because that's where he cuts first. And you know, I'm facing the back, we're talking and I turn around and my hair, it doesn't seem as shorter because when you're cutting someone's hair, you're stretching it out a bit. And my hair, once it stretch out, as you guys can see, it stays long. So my hair doesn't look that different. Until I pull it out and I, it stops right here. Actually, my hair for some reason has grown a lot. I got it done in like, I think it was February 15th and it's grown a lot. It's grown a lot since then. And I've been like really using a lot of different growth methods to get my hair to grow and they have luckily been working, but I pull my hair out and it literally stops like right here. Excuse me. Mind you, when I came in, my hair was curly when before it was stretched out it was curly and came to that same point curly not pulled out so i'm like this and he's still cutting and then i'm i'm checking each piece and i'm pulling and it's getting longer as i go out like it's right here then it's right here then it's right here then it gets here then it gets here and then it gets here all the way down here and I'm so confused. I have some pieces that like come right here and some pieces that come all the way down here. It's some, a piece right here, the piece right next to it comes all the way down here. So, trying to fix that. So, guys, this is what I have to deal with all the time now. So I'm like, clearly like, my hair is very uneven and it's way shorter and he sees me doing that and he's like oh like don't do that and I'm like my hair is really short and he tells me don't you're not gonna be walking around with your hair like this um so like your hair is gonna look even but you're not gonna be walking around with it like this and I'm like yeah but my hair is really short and he's like, yeah, but it's, you know, this is called a layer and this is called the length. Like he gives like some technical name for it. And I'm just thinking like my hair is uneven and it's short. I just, I want to keep it long, but I don't realize that how uneven it is. So we were talking more. I'm, I'm just sitting there at this point, kind of like. <laughs> wondering what's going on and it doesn't seem like the whole thing is short because I do pull this and I do see the longer layer there are longer layers so I assume that he just maybe cut a little bit too much off this part here so he's telling me like he's asked me like what's your sign and I tell him I'm a cancer and he's like oh I can tell you're very sensitive and attached to your hair and I'm like thinking 
I'm not attached to my hair. I mean, it just seemed very condescending to me to say like, oh, you're a cancer, that's why. And then he also makes some comments like, yeah, well, you know, luckily I kept the long front because that would have really made your hair look short if I cut that really short too. And I'm like thinking, I didn't want my hair to look short in any area. Kind of like making up for what he did. Like he sees that I'm upset and kind of like making up for what he did and then he tells me you know this is what really kind of pushed me off the edge I didn't I didn't kirk off or anything but this is what really like just ugh, is when he told me yeah you know I didn't want you to drive all the way out here for nothing his idea of cutting off nine inches was because the reason is because he didn't want me to drive all the way out there for nothing it just did not make sense to me for someone to tell me like you know I cut nine inches the reason I went so dramatic is because I didn't want you to drive out here for nothing I said my priority is to have my hair trimmed all over and then if you can't even it up some I would like that he did not he cut this part of my hair this part and up a lot of it was not touched except specific pieces so I still have so many split ends all over my hair and I have tons of split ends in the front and so I told him like yeah I asked him you didn't really cut look at how uneven my hair is guys like I have random pieces should just hang out like this like so I told him you know can you at least like trim some of the bangs and this is his idea of trimming this area here and then the area right next to it that he did not trim was this much longer so honestly I'm glad that he didn't trim the rest of my hair because his idea of a trim on my hair which mind you was extremely healthy was cutting off three two and a half three inches so at this point I'm really upset and I decide like I'm like I need to go to this dark and lovely event um, and he tells me as he's cutting my hair oh next time you come we're gonna dye your hair and that just really clued me into what his idea of well, in the haircut because I never once mentioned I wanted my hair dyed I never said I wanted my hair colored I never once discussed that it really clued me into that he had his own ideas of what he wanted to do to my hair regardless of what I said and I looked back after I went to his Instagram I looked back at, back at his Instagram page and I realized that I didn't take two huge things into account he never cut tightly curly long hair all of his clients had very short hair not very short hair but short curly hair and on top of it the second thing was he gave every single person the exact same haircut Every person who had tightly curly hair had the same haircut as me. Has this, um, I'll show you guys a picture. You can't really see it right now because I'm trying to stretch my hair out to make it not shaped like that. But it's a haircut that's very angled and looking at them I can tell that the bottom part is shorter than the sides. However, because their hair is a lot shorter than mine, it's probably only two inches versus this big of a difference so yeah this is my haircut now and I can say that I'm not happy with it guys I'm not happy with my hair at all it is a very very uneven this part of my hair here and mind you this is stretched out I have a whole section this part of my hair that is extremely short my hair used to come past my shoulders and now the same part that my hair used to rest while curly is where it comes now that it's completely stretched out. So that is why I haven't been on YouTube. I've had a lot of anger in me towards the hairstylist and that's not the type of energy I want to give off. I want to give, be able to help people and to be passionate about what I do. Whenever I've tried to record a video this past month, there has not been passion in it. There's not been like positivity in it. You guys wouldn't want to have watched it, I guarantee you. Um, and now I'm at a point where I can take this opportunity to help other people grow their hair long and realize like what I've been doing and to have people grow their hair with me because 
with me because before when I had my YouTube channel, my hair was already long. From the very get-go of my YouTube channel, my first video, if you go all the way back, and the second video, the third video, you can probably see it the most because that's my stretch of hair. My hair was already super long and I felt like I wasn't really relatable. So now I'm going to start a hair growth channel, hair growth challenge, and have you guys grow your hair with me and me grow my hair with you guys. And so that can actually happen now because I have been planning this for a while, but I kept putting it off because honestly, I didn't really... Growing long hair wasn't my number one priority, but now it is a priority of mine growing my hair back. And I know that it's very important to a lot of you and you guys want that information. So that is the positive that I get from that. And I believe that everything happens for a reason. That's very hard for me to really resonate with me, but I truly believe that. So I know that this happened for a reason. I know that, you know, I know that I feel like the hairstylist intentions weren't bad. I just feel like it wasn't a good um, fit for me. And unfortunately, I am a hair YouTuber. I did not want to make a video about this. Imagine something that you have a YouTube channel about and it's an insecurity of yours and you have to make a video about it because that's what your YouTube channel is about. Like, I know you guys are going to notice my hair being shorter. I've had people on my Instagram ask me if my hair was shorter and I just haven't felt like making a video about it because I'm very uncomfortable with my hair. I don't think that it looks bad. I don't like that it's shorter but it's just so uneven and it's not what I wanted. It's a huge difference. It's like when you have to move because you know you've been planning to move for a while versus when you have to move out of a house because it got flooded or some natural disaster happened like there are two different attitudes in that situation and mine wasn't a choice mine wasn't what I planned and so it's taken a while for me to adjust to it and I felt like the hairstylist wasn't apologetic at all and he his attitude was very that, that I think that's the hardest part but it's nothing I can do about it I'm going to use this as an opportunity to help you guys and take something negative and make something positive about it because I am still alive. I am still healthy. I still have my family. I still have my home. I still have food on the table. I still have a lot going for me. So many positive things and my hair will grow back. Your hair will grow back if anything has happened to it and just know that you have you're so much more than your hair and that that is something that is replaceable and I have so many irreplaceable things that are still in my life and that are still so important to me and that are still close to me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there's one take home message, just know that, you know, I have insecurities and I have things I'm uncomfortable with. But at the end of the day, we're all human and we can grow from it and that you can use those negatives to make a positive because I once was super insecure about my hair when I first big chopped, I hated it. And I used that, the fact that my hair was so short to be able to make a YouTube channel to show people, hey, I can go from here to here. So if you have something that happens to you in a negative way, you can use that and turn it into a positive light. Everything that is, you know, roadblock, uh, bump in the road, uh, insecurity can be put in a good light. It all has to do with your perception of reality. So, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and make sure you stay tuned for my hair journey video.